Daily Bible Time. Good morning. It is Friday morning. It's the 29th of December and the last uh, Daily Bible Time of 2023 and the last passage we're going to look at in the Old Testament. Well, this is the very last chapter of the Old Testament and um, a surprising uh, thing that I, I don't think I had reflected on before, but verse 6 of Malachi 4, um, otherwise I will come and strike the land with a curse that the Old Testament ends on a note of judgment, where the New Testament ends on a note of grace or a note of blessing. Now, it's interesting that um, Baldwin, in her little commentary here, she says, um, from the earliest times, attempts have been made to avoid the harsh ending of the book. Um, people have juggled around the order of the verses um, to try and um, take away that the sharpness of that ending. Well, we'll come back to that and we'll work through from the front of the chapter, uh, the beginning of chapter four. The day is coming, burning like a furnace, when all the arrogant and everyone who commits wickedness will become stubble. Um, the note there is that the imagery of fire has been used before, even back in chapter three, but now it is destructive fire. The day will be like one of tropical heat when parched vegetation, I'm following Baldwin here, suddenly catches fire and dry fields become one vast oven in which even the roots of the plants are reduced to ash. The arrogant and all even do evildoers who refuse to repent will find no excuse. Oh, we want to make the Bible say what it doesn't say. There are people I love, there are people I care for deeply, even some I've been talking to this week. And here is the warning of judgment that the coming day will consume them, says the Lord of armies, not leaving them root or branches. On the other hand, you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings and you will go out and playfully jump like calves from the stall. You'll trample the wicked. There'll be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day I am preparing, says the Lord of armies. And I read verse 2 of Malachi 4, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. And I immediately thought, as I'm sure you just have, of the Christmas carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Um, I just got it up on the, uh, the screen here. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the sun of righteousness. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Now, I have to confess that I don't... I think I had thought about this before. But it certainly wasn't front of mind. S-U-N or S-O-N. The word is S-U-N in sun. Um, the thing in the sky that lights the day of righteousness. Um, whereas even though it's spelt like that, both in the carol and in the text, the Bible text, Malachi chapter 4 verse 2, um, I think I had always thought we're talking about Jesus Hail, the S-O-N of righteousness. Anyway, I was wrong. I need to read what's actually there. And so I then noticed, I found this old Christmas sermon of John Piper's. And um, he said five pictures of what the coming of Jesus means. Um, five pictures from verse two. A rising sun, beams of righteousness, wings of healing, breaking out of a stall and leaping like calves. And um, uh, he... Um, Light where there was darkness, a rising sun. He brings light where there was darkness. When you've seen the light, you can see. Jesus helps us see things as they really are. Um, security where there's danger. Um, a rising sun brings security where there's danger. When it's dark, there's more danger because you can't see the path in front of you. You might fall over, over a cliff or trip over a log or bang your head. Beams of righteousness. Um, Jesus makes things right. He makes a man right with God through reconciliation. He makes a man right with God through grace, humility, and patience. And wings of healing. The sun of righteousness rises with wings of healing in its wings. Ah, that's interesting. Um, yes, it's its wings in um, Malachi 4 verse 2. And his wings, risen with healing in his wings, in Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Um, John Piper says, I remember the sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean 19 years ago. Noel and I were on our honeymoon. We were up early one morning and we saw how it happens on the rim of the ocean. A thin line of orange and red appears on the water. It intensifies brighter and brighter. You watch it rise. It brings the whole red line on the rim of water up into the air as though the sun had wings. 
when Malachi saw that, God told him the coming of the Messiah will be like that. The effect of his beauty will be healing. Jesus was a great healer. Um, Jesus doesn't heal every disease in life, says Piper. He will heal every disease in the resurrection. He heals the tremendous need we all feel for hope beyond the grave. And then breaking out of the stall. Um, you shall go forth from the stall, jump playfully like calves from the stall. Um, and the promise is freedom, necessary condition of leaping joy. Um, inter interesting Piper notes, Jesus said, Blessed are you when men hate you, rejoice in that day, leap for joy. Behold, your reward is great in heaven. So, Piper says, true meaning of Christmas, to give light and truth where there was darkness and confusion, to set things right when they were wrong, to give healing where there was sickness and bondage, freedom where there was bondage, and give calf-like joy when there was dreariness and fear. His prayer, um, Heavenly Father, we pray that at this time none would be able to resist your offer of grace. Um, we pray that um, children would have their hearts turned to their fathers and fathers to their children. We pray for that reconciliation in the family. But here in this end point of the Old Testament, we pray that hearts would be turned back to the original hearts who accepted the covenant and trust you. And we pray that for us as Christian people and for our friends and our family, and we beg this in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time today and this year. See you on Monday morning on uh, New Year's Day. God bless.